I'm walking real carefully because I have precious cargo here. This is sassy beetles. There's a container of sassy beetles in here. And what a sassy beetle is, and uh, Meredith, if you can help me with the pronunciation on this. Saja Simnus Suzai. Aha, uh -huh, I could try to say that all day and I wouldn't get it. And um, they are a predatory beetle from Japan that eats the hemlock woolly adelgid, which are uh, a horrible bug from Japan also that's killing these giant hemlocks. It's killing hemlocks all over the eastern seaboard. North of here, they're pretty much decimated. And uh, this is a natural predator of the hemlock woolly adelgid. And I'm gonna release some of these little guys right over here on this hemlock tree. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully remove the lid and, and check for some beetles that might be crawling on the underside of the lid. We don't wanna lose these guys. They're like, they're like gold. Okay, there's nobody on the lid. Oh wait, there's one right there. He, he jumped off the lid, I suppose, or was on the side of the container. And there's hundreds of these little guys in here crawling all over these stems. And uh, if you take a look at this footage I shot a little earlier, you can look closely at them. Very careful not to crush any beetles. I don't want to hurt these little guys. Okay, one of them is right here. Pick him up on the paintbrush and put him in here. Another one. Now, I'm going to put the beetles on the tree. Does this look like a good place for the team here? Give me a little path in there. I'm making a little path, I don't want to put the nail through a beetle. How deep do you go with your nail? Okay, looking at the uh, these hemlock twigs, you can see a lot of the uh, hemlock woolly adelgid scattered along the twig there. The little uh, woolly clumps. And up here, there's some beetles. There's a beetle right there, a little black spot. Three. Yep. Three oh, of them three of them. Down at one limb. Okay. Mm. Probably, oh yeah. Probably laying eggs. Yeah. So I see two right in this little. Yeah. Where do they go? Yeah. Yeah. There, there they are. There he is. Or she. Shiny and round. That's what makes it very easy to spot them. Yep. So these little guys are voracious predators of the hemlock woolly adelgid, and they're going to go to town eating these little guys on this tree. Here's something from the canopy. Oh, look at this. Look at these guys. Look at them in the screen. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. Oh, they're happy. They know where they are. They know that they're uh, out in the woods and they're looking for food. And what they're going to do now is they're going to climb up this giant hemlock. Fly. Or fly, actually. <laughs> it's a very big tree, so they'll fly up there into the canopy and start looking for uh, more adelgids. And here is a branch that has fallen from this tree that, oh, it looks like it's already been attacked. 
Mm -hmm. the, um, the the little balls of um, wool are all blasted and destroyed mm -hmm. by uh, beetles that have gone in there and just ripped them apart looking for the tasty morsels that are underneath the fuzz. <laughs> so hopefully these little guys we've just released here are going to fly up there into the top of this tree and just go crazy eating adelgids and laying eggs and uh, hopefully they'll this giant trees alive a little bit longer and uh, with our help we can stop the scourge that we of course humans started by bringing these darn bugs to this continent in the first place so that's why it's so important that whenever you go anywhere and if you see something you think's really pretty and you want to take it home don't take it home because you never know what you might be transporting home it could be a bug like the adelgid or it could be a, a virus a bacterium something that doesn't cause anything right away but it could be a hundred years later who knows what it's going to do so that being said i'm going to go put some more of these guys out and uh, let them do their work I'm going to release a few more here using a different technique than I did back at the other tree. Um, but first, I want to show you down here on the ground. Yeah, there's some uh, these sprigs of hemlock that have fallen from the top of the tree during the last ice storm that was maybe two weeks ago. Um, they were, you know, coated with ice, they broke off, they fell, and uh, littered the ground here. And this is how we can determine if there are adelgids in this tree. We don't see them on these lower limbs. These lower limbs are totally clean. It's not a piece of wool to be found. But look at this. Look at all of the little um, clumps of wool where the adelgids have been making their home. So that's proof that they're up there. high-tech twist tie here and job like they're supposed to without human interference except for this kind of interference which is good interference stopping the bad interference from the humans in the past who did this to these wonderful trees now if you want to see the death of one of these wonderful trees due to the adelgid check out my video that I shot last year or so um, it should be popping up right now on the screen it's a little right here click here to check out my past video about the uh, disappearing giants of the forest and we're trying to stop them from disappearing so until next time, see you guys later.